Hey guys, welcome to the Lunch Time Review. Today I'm going to try this Kirkwood Fully Cooked Turkey Jalapeno Smoked Sausage. Um, it is smoked turkey sausage with jalapeno peppers. It is um, a 13.5 ounce or 382 gram package. That's for all of them. You get one, two, three, four. You get six links in the package. This is an Aldi. I don't know if it's an Aldi brand, but we bought it at Aldi. Let me see at the bottom. Uh, yeah, distributed exclusively for Aldi. So this is an Aldi brand. Um, each sausage is only 100 calories, which I don't think is too awfully bad. And here's the other. Ignore this one. That one's with like different seasonings or something, but that that's the one we want is this one right here. Um, now there's a bunch of ways to make it. You can pan fry it, which there's the directions if you want. You can grill it, which is probably the best way, honestly. Uh, and then you can microwave it. Now I make Johnsonville um, turkey sausage franks all the time. So I do it differently than they're doing it. I'm going to do one like they say, and then I'm going to do one like I, I do it normally. And we'll see, we'll see what works. So we're going to, for the microwave, we're going to place the links in a shallow microwave safe dish. I've just got a bowl here. Um, we're going to add a half inch of water, um, cover it. So just cover it up with like paper towel or something. Microwave for approximately two minutes for one to two links or three to five minutes for four to six links. Remove, pour out water and let stand for two minutes before serving because microwave on very cooking times may be approximate. So basically what you're doing is you're just covering it in the water and you're boiling it uh, really more than anything. You're boiling it, boiling the water in the microwave. So I'm going to take one of these, put it in there and that's how we're going to do that one. This is how I normally do them. I take my sausage and just put, I usually put two in a paper towel, seal this up so I can lay it down and just wrap it up. And like I said, I normally do two and I use the microwave it for like 45 seconds for two of them. I'll probably do this one for like 30 since there's only one and it works out perfect for me. Now, sometimes it will crack open and pop and explode, but you know, it's not that big a deal. Um, so I'm going to do it both ways. I'm going to add a little bit of water to this one and cover it with paper towel and microwave it. And then I'm going to put this one in for 30 seconds and microwave it. And I'll just show you what they both look like. All right. So here they are out of the microwave. And can you tell which one is which? They look pretty much the same. Both got splits in them. They both pretty much look the same. This one is the one that was in the water. And this was the one I just marked away for 30 seconds. They're still, they're both feel like they're the same temperature. This, the one in the water might be slightly warmer, but not a lot warmer. So anyway, I'm going to uh, take these over the table and we'll try them out. All right. So I didn't give it, I just walked over here, set the camera up and, and then we're ready to go. So I got a fork. I, I literally, this is how I eat them. Um, not this brand, but when I eat the Johnson ones, I literally take a fork and just eat it. Ooh, got some heat to them. They also had a, uh, a turkey cheddar that didn't have the jalapeno in them. I was going to try those too, but they were out of them. They just, just had the jalapeno ones. Um, very spicy. I mean, they have a, um, a burn in the back of your throat. So if you uh, don't like spicy food, you wouldn't want to get these. Of course, you wouldn't be buying stuff with jalapeno anyway, but just letting you know, it is spicy. Um, some people aren't as sensitive to the jalapenos as I am. Like jalapenos, I think, are hotter than some other peppers that are out there. Um, Tammy, on the other hand, loves jalapenos and doesn't have any problems with them. So, you know, that's just, just how it is. So that was the, the microwave one. Without water. I'm getting a feel for the texture. See if the texture is any different. So that's that was just microwave without water. This one's with the water. It is a little hotter, like heat hot. Texture's feel pretty much the same. Um, the skin feels pretty much the same. I don't get a, any more toughness or, or um, softness from one or the other. There might be just a slight more snap to the one done in the, in the, uh, with the water. But it's hard to tell, honestly. They're so similar to each other, it really doesn't matter. So what I'm saying is, honestly, by me showing you both ways, if you want to do it in the water with the water in the bowl, perfectly fine. Go for it. Do it that way. If you want to just wrap up a couple of sausages in a, in a, in a paper towel and do it for like 45, 50 seconds for my microwave, 
um, it works just as well. So either way you want to do it, it's fine. It, I think it's more trouble with the water and it's just, just perfectly fine without, but if you want to do the water, again, go for it. Flavor wise, I do like the heat of them. The bad thing about the jalapeno heat is it kind of ruins the sausage flavor. So you don't really get the flavor of the sausage. And I think these had, these have cheese as well. No, just sausage. Um, let me make sure. Yeah. So these don't have cheese in them anyway. Um, even if it had cheese in them, you couldn't have tasted it because literally the jalapeno takes over all other spices in the, in the sausage. So they're good, but just know that they are jalapeno. Um, I think I probably would have liked the cheddar ones better, honestly, because I would have rather had some of the spice in the sausage. Um, but anyway, flavor wise, that's what it is. Um, texture wise, it's a little more um, finely ground and, and not pasty, that's not a good word for it. It's, it's, it's more hot dog-like texture um, than like the Johnsonville's. The Johnsonville's a little more um, like a chunkier texture. I don't know how better to say it than that, but if you've had a, a, a brat or a sausage from um, anywhere, uh, they, they generally have a little bit of a texture, a, grump, a chunkier texture. These are a little finely ground. They're still good, I still like them. Um, but I don't like them as much as I would have just the cheese ones. Honestly, I like the Johnsonville ones better, truthfully. Um, I pay about the same price. Um, $235, I used to get them for around $250 for the Johnsonville, so it's basically the same price. I personally would rather get the Johnsonville. The Johnsonville, though, I have not seen a jalapeno version of the turkey version. So if you want that spice, you'll have to go to like Aldi or something else to get it. So overall, I like this. I'm going to give it... Maybe like three and a half. It's a little above average. I do like the spice in there. It's, so it's above average. It's just not great. I'd probably give the Johnsonville honestly a four. Um, so anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.